Hello good friends, welcome new subscribers, I'm Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to continue with the restoration project on the interior of the E46 BMW Convertible 323CI. And before we get going, I need to remind you there is a budget, a set budget for the restoration. And the budget doesn't leave room to absolutely replace everything in here. There needs to be a combination of some replacement and some refurbishment. And to tell you the truth, I absolutely love the challenge of making the call um, as to what can be replaced, what to be refurbished, and the refurbished job itself. I absolutely love it. Um, so this may not be the way you go about restoring certain parts of the vehicle. Uh, it may not be the best way, but it's the, the way I have decided within the constraints of the budget. Uh, so today, for example, we're going to work on the uh, steering wheel. There was a choice as to replace it, and you're looking at somewhere around 379 and up for this particular steering wheel, or we could refurbish it for around $120 worth of materials. And that's what we're going to do today. That's what the video is on today. Let's get started. The leather is coming off two different places. The paint on the plastic trim needs to be restored. This wheel here has an airbag system, so the first thing we need to do, because we need to remove the steering wheel to get this job done, is come in the trunk, that's where the battery is, passenger side, rear, right under this plastic deck here, we're going to disconnect the negative cable for the battery. 10 millimeter will remove the negative cable from the post. I pull the cable up, lay the plastic covering back down, that way the cable cannot accidentally slide back on and make contact with the post while you're working in the car. Next we'll remove the horn and airbag assembly and for that we're going to have to go in these little inserts behind the steering wheel, go in, push in on two clamps and that will allow me to pop out the assembly. On the back of the connectors, take a small regular screwdriver, pull up on the tabs, and they will release. No need to mark them. They are color coordinated. Going in through the inserts behind the steering wheel, this is the clamp you're pushing on to release the horn and airbag assembly. And like I said, these are color coordinated, green and black. No need to mark those. Now we can get the bolt out for the steering wheel itself right here. And before I do that, I like to make some marks on the top of the bolt and the steering wheel itself. And then when I remove the bolt, I'll put another mark so I can line everything up when I am replacing uh, and uh, reinstalling the steering wheel. Fifteen millimeter and extension. With the bolt out, I'm also going to put another notch where the bolt goes in. So again, I can perfectly line up the steering wheel, replacing it. Then there are two more switches to remove for the buttons on the steering wheel, the controls, and the horn. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove this piece of trim. We have two screws here and there's one in there. Those are T15s. Thank you. 
Be careful of the wires taking the trim off. There were two screws that were missing that we will replace holding the trim when we put it back on. And the leather gets tucked in there nice and tight. Okay, we're going to refurbish this piece of plastic here. So we will tape off the buttons and controls that are on the steering wheel. Now we use 800 grit sandpaper and smooth the plastic trim before we recoat it. I always wear nitrile gloves when I'm handling the trim as I'm sanding it so I don't get my oily fingerprints on it. I am going to clean it afterwards with a uh, prep a body solvent before I paint it, but uh, you definitely don't want to handle it with bare hands. All right, next step, the leather that's starting to fail and peel off, we want to trim and get rid of any of the leather that is uh, sort of peeling and pointing outwards. When we go to wrap it, that will make a refined line in the leather and will look terrible. So we just want to do some trimming. With the steering wheel prepared, we come to the kit itself. Consists of the high quality leather wrap, the thread and needle. This comes from Redline Accessories. I'm gonna put a link for everything we've used today down below. The next step is simply sliding the wrap around the wheel and getting it placed right. When you have the wrap placed where you want it, it's time to get the needle and thread ready. And you only want to work with about an arm length um, at a time so it doesn't get twisted and tangled up while you're working with it. Thread it, tighten the knot, and we can get started. Go ahead and tie it in a double knot so when we thread it through the first loop here, the first hole, it won't pull through. That'll give you a great, uh, nice strong foundation to get this started. Okay, so what I normally do is I'll do the straight lines here, here, and here first. Then I'll work on the corners and the edges last. And the first thing you want to do is come one of the, the holes where the thread has come through from the original threading, you want to come up through one of the holes through the leather. Right here, just like so. Pull it up. And right there is where the knot is catching and it will not pull through. That's a great place to start. There are many ways you can go about stitching different patterns. I will just go across to the next loop, come right back, and then jump over two loops, and then go across, come back, jump over two loops. Continue the pattern all the way around the wheel. Uh, there are different patterns you can use for different, uh, different looks for the, the wrap of your steering wheel. 
This is a time-consuming job. If you're looking for some great end results, just take your time. Okay, so you're starting to get the idea what we have to do here. And I'm just going to continue this all the way around the wheel, and then we'll work on the corners last. Okay, so we have the stitching done all the way up to the uh, three spokes here. And simply all we're going to do is tuck these around, finish stitching, do a little bit of gluing, and then the plastic trim uh, will be next to sit back on top as that is now curing from its uh, refurbishment. Okay, we have this piece now. We can set this on, tuck the leather underneath, and put the screws in and tighten her up. Okay, hey, let's get it over to the car and get it installed. All right, we have our marks lined up again. Now we can plug everything back in. By the way, the torque spec on the E46 is uh, really 46 foot-pounds. Finally, we snap the horn and airbag assembly back in. Make sure the wires are tucked securely in the back. It won't get pinched as we're putting it back in the clamp again. And that's it. Okay, the steering wheel is fully restored. Feels good, looks good. I'm gonna clean it up once again, and I'm gonna follow up with a ceramic coating. It's gonna cure looking and feeling natural. No slippery parts whatsoever. It will be uh, protected from the elements, UVA, UVB, fingerprints, and all that. And it will protect the plastic trim from getting scratched up once again. The only thing left to do is to reattach the negative cable to the terminal, put the plastic cover back on, and we're off to the next project. As we take a look at the before and after, I do want to note when the steering wheel is mounted and firmly in place once again, it's a good time to go over the stitching, tighten it up if it needs any type of adjustment at all. That's the perfect time while the steering wheel is firm in a firm place and easy to get to. Brian from Apex Detail, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Catch you in the next video.